So yeah, I still do plow and truck every once in a while. I just do a couple of parking lots that I have in my room. Obviously my dad's in a plow truck the whole time. I just do part of the hospital that's you know a few miles down the road. Obviously you can't drive all over to it. So I just do it with the truck. And I also do a apartment building too, one out of the four we have. And we'll go to that next. So my Denali Darmax, uh, this truck's really nice for plowing. All the sensors, cameras, it's just really a good, safe truck to plow with. Diesel, so it's a bit on the heavy side for a pickup. I got a 90 gallon fuel cell full and about 1,000 pounds of sandbags in the back. So this truck's quite the tank, brand new snow tires too, as well. We used to take care of that place. It used to be a really good money maker, but we got rid of it once we got the hospital. It's just too much to take on both. Really needy over there, so if it wasn't so needy, we would have kept it, but you know, it's pretty zero tolerance. I don't think the other guy's doing a very good job, but we used to take really good care of it. Like right now, there'd be like absolutely no snow there. We did that. So this place is a, like a university for the uh, hospital, and uh, essentially, obviously, it's closed during snowstorms, so that's why I'm here with like nine inches of snow on the ground. shit. <clears throat> Drank about a half a bottle of Nightcall last night. And I slept like a rock. But now I'm starting to feel like shit again. Might have something to do with my plowing diet. I ate a whole fucking family pack of Twizzlers last night. Probably wasn't very good. Wasn't a good idea at all. Some cheap Chinese food that was disgusting. Had that too. Spelt threw up. time or two of my day.
that dumpster in the green spot. Always. <coughs> if I was smart, I'd just plow the opposite way and push all the snow in the opposite direction, but it's a little bit easier doing it this way. <laughs> I could have cut out the audio for you guys, but you wanted it, so you gotta listen to me cough and talk about stupid shit. to the next one. It's like a real winter wonderland over here. Such a beautiful sight. Definitely my favorite time of the year. Most people hate it. Uh, just because I'm having to deal with snow and it being cold and everything, but it's definitely my favorite time of the year. Definitely nothing I'd rather be doing. Maybe besides ice fishing. Heated windshield wipers. If you guys don't have them, go get them. Big help, especially when it's snowing like crazy out. There's no need to actually get out and clean up your windshield wipers anymore. With heated windshield wipers, you can literally just turn a button. Literally just hit a button, turn it on, and you don't have to worry about it. It's awesome. Have them on all of our trips. Alrighty, so now we're arriving to the apartments. We're not really a big fan of these, but it's four of them. They give us a lot of year, year round work. <coughs> so we keep them.
if you're wondering why I don't have rubber on top of my plow to keep all the snow, sleet, rain off my windshield and hood, it's because I can't sand them. They get a ton of weight on them, and it puts a lot of pressure on the actual pump to lift up the plow. There's a ton of weight on it. And we've had actually more issues with them on than we have them off. So that's why. If I was doing a lot of gravel driveways, I'd probably have one on. But we don't do any, so it's not really worth it for us to do it. Of course the ground's not frozen up yet, so I just did some landscaping right there. Some extra work in the wow. Some extra work in the spring for us. That's always great. Very sarcastic there if you couldn't tell. Urgh.
Yeah, I don't know either. <clears throat> I'm not doing where the cars are though. Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks so. Yeah, typically after the storm's over, we'll come here. It's still not quite over yet, that's why I'm not having to move. But when the storm's over, we beat, they come out and move. 
uh, sometimes it's fight to get them all moved, but most of them are pretty good about it. And we plow where the cars are. It's kind of a nightmare. But... A little premature probably to move the cars just now. Just still think we might get another inch maybe tonight. Back to the hospital. So my rear view mirror is actually a camera. And it's way better to have it on. It never fogs up for some mysterious reason. It never gets snow on it. Uh, it's crystal clear. It's 4K. Uh, it's awesome, love this thing. Uh, this thing's got sensors all over the place too. Like I'll be back out of like a data spot and all of a sudden my seat will start vibrating. And I'll be like, what the heck? And I'll look behind, there'll be a car coming. And it's like crazy far away too. And it's definitely really helpful to have all those safety features. Um, and then on the, the opposite end, I mean, that's just more stuff to go wrong too. So Definitely saved my ass a couple times though. So yeah, I'll show you the cameras real quick. So obviously reverse with your lines showing you where your tire is gonna go, even when you turn moves and you also have a front camera so you can see when you're plowing up sod which is awesome it doesn't last for a long time it only lasts for like two seconds but still it's actually really nice and i like that so if i don't show any more clips that means i'm basically done i'm gonna stay here for the rest of the day make sure these flurries don't accumulate to anything but uh, like always you guys thanks for watching any recommendations like always leave them in the comments below